Integro Email Manager for Exchange is a user-friendly add-in to the Outlook Mail client that helps you manage your email based on the business value of the email. The explosive growth of digital information has caused organizations to reevaluate their strategy for managing email. The digital landfill that is created by storing redundant, outdated, and trivial information is not only a drain on the performance of the email system, there is also significant costs incurred with storing, managing, and searching these emails when litigation occurs. Integro Email Manager or IEM for short, uses a three-zone approach to manage email. The first zone is the transient or auto-delete zone. This is the default zone and is used to identify those emails that, once the information within the email has been consumed, can and should be deleted after a relatively short period of time. The second zone is the working or work in progress zone. This zone is used to identify emails that have business value to me and ensures that I have a place to preserve important emails that I need to do my job. The work in progress zone is time constrained and is subject to a quota that is defined by your organization. The third zone is the record zone. Records are emails that need to be preserved for regulatory, compliance, and business policy reasons. Emails placed within this zone are assigned to a record category and retained according to the corporate retention schedule. Now, let's take a look at the changes you'll see in your Outlook Mail client. One of the first changes you'll see in your Outlook client is the addition of an email designation pane. The designation pane can be toggled closed or open and is used to allocate emails to one of the three zones. Clicking on the bottom of the designation pane will open the email settings and reports. This pane provides you with several reports that are useful to help you manage your mailbox. The profile summary report shows the mail management policies that are specific to your organization. This includes the length of time an email will reside in the auto-delete zone before it is deleted, how long email is kept in the work in progress zone, and what the quota of the work in progress zone is. The dashboard shows you the current size of your work in progress zone. If you exceed the quota established by your organization, the dashboard will show that you are over quota and you will no longer be able to send email until you take steps to reduce the size of this zone. The dashboard also shows which emails are coming up for auto deletion tonight, this week, and this month. Clicking on any of the numbers in this table allows you to view the individual emails that are coming up for auto-deletion and take action on them if needed. Another modification that IEM makes to the Outlook client is the addition of some mail management icons. The blue check mark indicates that the email resides in the records zone. A yellow paper icon indicates that the email has been designated to the work in progress zone. And no icon means that the email resides in the auto-delete zone. Moving emails out of the auto-delete zone and into the records or work-in-progress zone is simple and leverages the behavior that you normally use when managing your email. If you use folders to manage your email, simply drag and drop emails to a designated folder. If you manage your email in place, Use the designation pane to designate emails. And if you want to designate an email before sending it, use the designation pane within the email before clicking on the send button.